Papa Pepper, our first loofah gourd. All right guys, Papa Pepper here today out in my natural environment, the garden. And uh, if you see this archway behind me, there we go, archway, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You can see it's pretty much covered in green right now. You can see it's pretty much got all these little yellow flowers all over it. And that's a good thing because I didn't even add this raised bed until sometime this summer. I was doing some consideration and thinking and I realized that by having a raised bed over here like one with the hominy, and a raised bed over here, this one with some peppers, okra, and watermelon. If I actually put an archway over the path, rather than an archway over the um, raised bed, I'd be saving space and growing more plants with the, uh, with the, with the space that I have. And I always wanted to kind of grow some of the loofah gourds, and never had got them in. But EM3 on Steemit had sent me some seeds, and even though it was late, I said, I'm going for it. I'm going for it, I'm gonna put some in, we're gonna see what happens. So right now, I'll show you what happened. So, like I said, here we got some some peppers, okay? This is a chile de arbol. Here we got some uh, chili chilacas. They should be ripening to brown eventually. And then we've got watermelons coming across okra over there. In fact, here's a little watermelon. Looks like he might be drying up. But little watermelon uh, will kind of knock him down. And then planted on each side of here. Here's a couple in this raised bed. Here's a couple in this raised bed are my uh, my loofah gourds. So as they go up and over, they kind of fill this whole thing in. And that's what we got going on. But I've actually got my first one growing. And one thing I didn't know about these is that you can actually eat them when they're small. So some people grow them, grow them for food. They'll eat them probably at this point. Seems pretty good. But I'm actually trying to get some actual uh, dishcloth, you know, loofah um, sponge scrubbies. And one cool thing about it too is uh, we were up at Beatitudes 8 earlier, uh, I guess it was last year now, but they'd done some soap making, they had had some loofah gourds, they, uh, you know, did their soap with the loofah gourd attached to it. So Mama Pepper's gonna get into some goat milk soap here <coughs> soon enough because Pinky Pepper and Red Pepper have been uh, doing a great job milking our goat. And if we're growing our own loofah gourds, then we're going to be able to make something, you know, soap with a built-in scrubby. So that's pretty exciting. I don't see anything else happening here other than this one. But I have a feeling there may be some I'm missing. Not sure. But beautiful plant. Doing well. I'm excited because we've never had a, um, a loofah gourd in our life. Wow, this stuff's taken off up into the hominy, too. And the hominy had a good fight with the squirrels this year, had a good fight with the rain this year. Um, you know, it got knocked over a couple of times. It's growing roots from every section above ground. But at this point, that stuff's like 12 feet tall too. I mean, it is. I'm standing at the base of it now and I'm nowhere near the top of those things. So let's see if we can't get some hominy too. And the sun chokes are pretty big too next to them, right over there. But just wanted to share with you guys our first loofah gourd ever. It's coming in, it's growing, it's starting. Oh man. Yeah, if that gets too big, that watermelon, that ain't gonna work either, is it? <laughs> I should have watched where that guy was going. I'll see if I can take him down. Take him down. But I do like the, uh, the flowers on these guys too. They're really, really nice. You can see them all the way up and over. It creates a really nice kind of uh, inviting you know, archway to, to walk through and check out. So getting our first loofah gourd, guys. Um, hopefully be growing a lot more of those in the future. But at the moment, we do what we can. And even if I'm planting late, I still give it a try because I'm an optimist. And you never know what you're going to be able to do unless you try. So I'm giving it a go. Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.